Hey everyone, Anthony here with some exciting news. Hovercam is now compatible with Chrome. Yeah, that's right. Hovercam, who you used to have to have Windows or Mac, you can now use it on a Chromebook. So if you've got Chromebooks in your class and you're holding out with that teacher PC so you can use your Hovercam, well now you can finally get that teacher Chromebook. Or you don't have to keep that extra PC laying around just so you can use your Hovercam. So, how's it work? Well, you're gonna take your USB cable, hook it up. I have a Solo 8 here. You can use this with any hover cam, doesn't matter which one. But we're gonna plug into our Chromebook with our USB cable. You don't have to install anything. There's the hover cam app for Chrome. It's purple square with the document camera and an H on it. So we're just gonna open that up. The first time you open it, it's gonna ask you uh, to choose a folder to save your snapshots and video to. You hit OK. A little window will pop up to let you select that. I'm not going to do it, so I'm going to hit cancel. So, open up our camera. We have an image of our little salamander friend here, right there. As you can see, this is a live image right from the Solo 8. And since it's a Solo 8, we're getting great video from it. Now, once we hit our trackpad, uh, you'll see on the screen we have our zoom. We have the snapshot button so we can save our images. We have a pause button. So we pause it. I wave my hand in front of the camera. Nothing happens. The image is frozen. So if I rotate our salamander around and I unfreeze it, you'll see. Then you unpause it and you go back to our, your live image. Now you also have a view button. This will let you adjust the rotation of the image as well as the mirror. So you can flip it either way, turn it upside down. So let's, let's do that for you real quick. We'll rotate it left. You can see it there. Whole image has changed. Now you can also adjust your autofocus and autofocus lock from here. You can also still use the buttons on the camera itself if you want to do that. And then we have more advanced controls right here, including, but not limited to, brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, your autofocus and auto white balance settings right there. You can also adjust your resolution here on screen. Looks like it's defaulting to 720, but we can change to 1080 just from clicking that right there. And there you go. We have 1080p resolution. We have great video. One, two, three, four. As you can see, it's fantastic video. And it's all directly on your Chromebook. Now, just one thing to note. If you got a sharp eye, you may have noticed this is not a Chromebook. This is a Windows PC. But because it's a Chrome app, all you have to do is have the Chrome browser installed and you can put the app on it. There's also a little thing in Windows that'll let you put all your Chrome browser apps right there. And that's how I was able to open it up without actually going into the browser. So it looks just like a Chromebook and it works just like a Chromebook, but you can actually do it on a PC as well. So there you have it. Works with your PC if you can't install the Hovercam software for some reason works in your Chromebook. As always, I'd recommend using Hovercam's Flex 10 software. It's going to have the most features, but this is the best way to have a document camera directly on your Chromebook. Thanks a lot.